So declare you will win the race or decline. Uh, no, we're going to win this, baby. That's right. We're going to space. <laughs> Challenge accepted. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Nerd Out Shelter, where it's a safe place to nerd out. And this is episode four of Mars Horizon. And in the last episode, uh, well, we got a couple of missions getting started here. Um, and uh, <laughs> some of the other space agencies were trying to steal my science. And I wouldn't let them as jerks. All right. So speaking of that, we need to research something right now. So let's go over here. And uh, no, under buildings, we got to do the uh, spacecraft assembly facility. All right. Let's get that started. All right. And then in our base over here, we have our research lab being built. But that's going to take a couple more months. So let's go ahead and advance to the next month. Hey, hey, all right. Spacecraft assembly facility research complete. The spacecraft assembly facility provides a clean room environment to aid the development of complex mission payloads. Okay. <laughs> Uh-oh, Soviet Union completed a test launch. All right, they're way behind. They're fifth. All right, so uh, we need some more research again. So what are we going to go to? Oh, um, should we go here or should we go back to uh, the missions? So, yeah, let's go ahead and go back to the Pioneer. All right, let's finish researching that. All right, now my base is yelling at me for some reason. Oh, I can build something. Oh, right. Okay, the rocket test pad and the spacecraft assembly facility. All right, yeah, we definitely want to build those. Um, let's see if we can find a spot for it. Oh, no. Okay, there's a lot of uh, obstructions still. Maybe we need to clear out the jungle here. Oh, this will do it for us. Okay, so that's a good place to put it, I think. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and put it there. And then we also need to build the spacecraft assembly facility. All right. So where can we put that? Um, that should go probably near the launch pad, right? Yeah, let's do it right there. Perfect. All right, that costs a lot of money, but <laughs> it's got to be done. All right, then let's go check out Earth over here because they're yelling at me. Oh, ionospheric measurements. Oh, it's another request mission. Request missions often have special modifiers that make aspects of the mission more challenging, as well as increasing the potential rewards. Consider these carefully before choosing which request mission to attempt. Okay, so this is an experimental payload. And it'll be one month, and it has one phase. Um, but we get a bunch of science out of it. Uh, I don't know if we're... We're still doing this one, I believe. So we're going to wait, and then we'll probably do that one later if we can. All right, let's go to the next month. Oh, okay, radiation belts discovered. Data from your recent artificial satellite mission has confirmed that belts of trapped radiation surround Earth, shielding the planet from the sun's cosmic rays. Okay, we gave it a bunch of science. Sweet. Hey, and our research lab is complete. The technological hub of your space agency. The research lab can greatly improve scientific yields from missions. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, that's good. Hey, and our pioneer is done. All right, so what do we got here? Mission control. With a training option now available for your missions, it's time to focus on another vital aspect of growing your agency, building a mission control. All right, but I already did some test launches, and I thought I was in mission control. <laughs> Maybe I wasn't. All right. The Mission Control Building unlocks an additional mission slot, allowing you to conduct two missions at the same time. Oh, okay, it's an additional one. That's good. A great way to increase your science and support income. Note that you may need to research another training building first. It's recommended to unlock all the training options eventually. All right, so let's go over here to research, and we need to research. There we go, Mission Control. All right, let's start it. And let's go over here to Earth. Oh, we have another request mission. Uh, solar Wind Monitoring. It's low risk. That's that's good. <laughs> it's right up my alley. Launch a basic satellite to monitor the effects of solar wind upon Earth's magnetosphere. Oh, that's Magneto. <laughs> All right, but we're going to wait on that one because we don't have enough uh, mission slots right now. And we're going to go to the next month. Hey, mission control research complete. All right, that's perfect. Oh, here we go. All right, ready for our test launch of our guidance system test. All right, let's launch the mission. Hopefully it's not raining this time. I don't think it is. Okay, it's nice and dark out, but it's nice and clear. Awesome. All right, finally some clear weather. All right, it's launch day, June 1958. All right, good conditions, plus eight. That's a very first for me. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's go ahead and launch it. Alright, we have ignition! We have liftoff. Into the clear skies above for once. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful clear night. Awesome. 
All right, here we go. Oh, man, 92% positive, smooth takeoff. All right, plus 50% science mission reward. Oh, wow, okay. We, <laughs> we finally did good, people. We finally did good. <laughs> All right, oh, and our sounding rocket leveled up. That's good, got some more reliability. All right, hey, mission complete. All right, thank you. All right, that was super successful. So let's go over here. Uh, we need some more research now. Should we do uh, the buildings? I don't know, or more vehicles maybe? Um, yeah, we might wanna have to do vehicles, but I'm gonna wait until there's a mission that uh, makes us do it. Actually, you know what? Let's go over here to our missions uh, requests here. Yeah, we're gonna go to requests and we're gonna launch some of these ones. We're gonna get these ready. So the ionospheric measurements, low risk. So let's go ahead and plan it because this will probably tell us we need to research some more um, parts or something, or not, okay, we already have this guy. Um, I think I wanna do, the, oh no, comms is bad, okay. Um, power might be good, increase the build cost though, how much is it, 145K, okay, that's expensive. Uh, you know what, maybe we just go for the standard. <laughs> All right, so we need to select our payload, so let's build our payload over here. Oh, there we go, all right, payload approved, awesome. Explorer will be completed on August 1958. All right, so we didn't have to do any research for that. So then let's go back to the research. Let's pick something. Um, maybe satellite, oh, humans in space. Oh, that would be cool. All right, let's get going on that. And then we're gonna go visit our base over here because it's yelling at us. I think I can build another thing. So what is it uh, down here? Oh yeah, mission control. Okay, I definitely wanna build that. So we gotta find a place for it. Um, can it go here? No, okay, it's bad that it's touching there. So maybe this side, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, maybe up here by the lake. Um, no, it doesn't give us a lot of room there. These stupid rocks are in the way. Okay, you know what, maybe we'll put it right there. Yeah, that'll work. All right, a lot of construction still going on at our base here. All right, and speaking of construction, it's gonna be done next month, so let's go ahead and do it. Hey, rocket test pad complete, thank you. And the spacecraft assembly facility is complete. Thank you, thank you. All right, and then let's go to the next month so our explorer will be complete. Uh-oh, race to space. The prospect of launching the first human into space is dominating the newspapers. Most have labeled it an impossible endeavor, whilst the less skeptical outlets claim a rival agency are bound to get there first. Several have contacted your agency for a statement. Oh, okay. So declare you will win the race or decline. Uh, no, we're going to win this, baby. That's right, we're going to space. <laughs> Challenge accepted. <laughs> You have replied that it is not only possible, but inevitable that a human will reach space. And what's more, your agency will be the first to achieve it. Your statement has resulted in a surge of public support. Yeah, get behind me, people. Yet detractors maintain that your agency is setting itself up for a fall. Yeah, well, there's always going to be trolls, all right? <laughs> all right, there we go. Ionospheric measurement payload complete. Oh, okay, we got some uh, minus 10% launch reliability. Okay, so that's not good. All right, let's go ahead and design the vehicle. So let's select the vehicle over here. All right, so then we need to pick an upper stage over here. Yeah, this is where we might need to research something. Oh, that one works. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and select that. Hey man, if the uh, the cheap ones that I already know and have researched work, then yeah, then we're gonna select them. That's for sure. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and build that. Thank you, 70K, all right. It will be the antelope, that'd be cool. Will be completed on October 1958. All right, let's go over to Earth because we have another request. Uh, test launch, high altitude photography. Oh, that'll be cool. Launch a sounding rocket equipped with a 35 millimeter camera to capture images of the curvature of Earth from high altitudes. Oh, that's cool. Why don't we just send a GoPro up on a balloon? <laughs> all right, well, we'll have to do that one in a bit. We still got all these other ones we got to get through. And yeah, we don't have any more mission slots available until our, our new mission control is done. So. That being said, we need to advance to the next month. Human in space research complete. The first astronaut in space represents not only a key stride towards a stable orbital mission, but a landmark for the human exploration of space. Success is vital to convincing a skeptical public that humans can survive the rigors of spaceflight. All right, so we need another uh, research task over here. So what's down here? Oh, payload. Okay, yeah, the mercury capsule. That's cool, okay. Yeah, we have to send people in space because we kind of boasted about it in the newspapers. So <laughs> we're going to make good on our promise. All right, so let's advance to the next month. Hey, mission control is complete. Now we've got an additional mission slot. Hey, okay. 
And our Ionic Spheric Measurements vehicle is complete. Oh, that's a good sign. Plus 5% payload reliability. All right, I'll take that. Mission training. Training is a crucial part of the mission plan and allows your staff and crew to focus on a particular aspect of the mission in the months before the launch date. The type of training chosen can greatly benefit areas such as launch reliability or the amount of science gain from a mission. All right, so let's go over here to training. Um, we got to set some our training, I guess. Available training options for this mission can be selected here. To unlock more training options, construct the appropriate buildings in your base. Each training option will focus on a specific aspect of the mission. For example, payload reliability training will increase payload reliability. Well, <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. And that's probably something I really need. The total bonus granted by each training option is dependent on the number of months until the launch date. Okay, so, um, yeah, launch reliability or payload. Uh, you know what? We are doing pretty good with launches now. Um, you know what? Maybe we go for science. Yeah, let's go some science training. All right, now we need to uh, set a launch date. And, oh, okay, here we go. Your current training and its bonus can be viewed here. The bonus is determined by the number of months between the current date and the selected launch date. Yeah, you already said that. Choosing a later launch date can greatly increase your training bonus, yet may give other agencies the chance to complete milestone missions before you. Aha, see? That's a good point. So, um, invalid launch date in November. December is suboptimal. January is our first optimal. We're going to get a total bonus of 15%. And you know what? We're going to have to take it because we want to get this done as fast as possible. All right, let's confirm the mission setup. Hey, hey there you go. Launch approved. The Ionospheric Measurements Mission will launch on January 1959. Hey, hey, tutorial complete! Congratulations on completing all of the tutorial objective. Your agency has demonstrated its technological expertise and opened countless minds to the possibilities of space travel. From here on out, the direction of the agency is down to you. Will you focus on pushing the boundaries of human exploration or probing the far reaches of the solar system? All right, well, that's a good question for everybody down in the comments. Let me know what direction you want our agency to go. But that does it for this episode of Mars Horizon. If you like this video, please leave a like. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And until next time, thank you for visiting Nerd Art Shelter, where it's a safe place to nerd out.